friends, my name is Al or Atlas Arnard on Instagram, and welcome to today's episode of Let Me Freaking Scream About My Friends. I love my friends, and I'm gonna scream about them. So I reached out to uh, Wilma Arts on Instagram a while ago, and I asked if she might want to collaborate with me here on YouTube. And I am so grateful that she said yes, because I genuinely had like such a good time. Like this was so fun. And I really hope she's gonna want to do it again. For this collaboration, we decided to each pick a piece of each other's art to recreate in our own style. And it was, it was cool. Like it was a really cool thing to do. I really liked it. So I was scrolling through her Instagram and honestly, all of her stuff is just like so cool. I love how colorful everything is. I love how expressive and bold it is. It was really hard to pick like just one thing that I wanted to draw, but I decided on this portrait. I don't, I didn't know who it was at the time, but I'm pretty sure it's Claro. I don't really know because I don't like really know who Claro is, but I'm pretty sure that this is Claro. <laughs> I noticed that a lot of her pieces have some graphic element, which I really, really love with her stuff. She has this great balance of realism and these stylized elements that make the pieces so interesting to look at. I definitely wanted to incorporate that graphic element that she has, which isn't something I really like ever do in my own pieces, but I wanted to make sure I wasn't just copying what she did. When I was going through Wilma's art on Instagram and also just like when I'm watching her videos in general, it really makes me think about like my own art and how I approach it. Wilma's stuff is always really bold and has this weight to it. In her videos, she'll often make these decisions that I never would have considered for a piece, but it makes it so much more powerful and like striking. Just that she has these interesting and creative ideas that I would literally never think of because my own art process is so step by step and rarely changes and is rarely creative. She and I both do a lot of portraiture and we use bright, vibrant colors, which was a really good jumping off point for swapping styles, I guess, or doing my take on her art. Uh, but when I was going through her art, I saw so much creativity and vision and insight and passion, which is all stuff that I feel my own art lacks, at least in my own eyes. I'm sure some people might disagree. So going through her stuff and seeing her process and seeing the way she thinks about art and approaches a piece really made me think about my own stuff and how I want to approach my art going forward and I what I want my art to say. Okay, anyways, I used her piece as reference, obviously. I used the colors she used and wanted to keep that vibrant and lively feel, but in my own way, aka I made it very pastel-y like I tend to do. She did hers in acrylic paint, I'm pretty sure, and while I do sometimes paint, I wanted to keep this very authentically Al, so I used alcohol markers, which are always my go-to media. I added a few more stars that were on her face because I like stars and I thought it'd be cute. And for the graphic element, the butterfly she has framing her eyes, I decided to do a couple of butterflies kind of like around her and landing on her face and hair. But in the end, I had to downsize the number of butterflies in the illustration because I didn't plan well in terms of spacing, which always happens to me. Now let's take a break and you can meet Wilma and see what she's doing on her end. Hi guys, what is up? My name is Wilma. I'm the person doing this collab with Al, and I'm excited about it. I'm so excited about it. Okay, so I am a 21 year old artist from Sweden. I like to paint. I do a lot of paintings. I do draw as well, but I mostly use paint and I use acrylic paint, gouache paint and aquarel paint. I have been following Al for a while. She's been one of my favorite artists for like a year probably. So I'm really excited to be doing this collab with her. She's like the loveliest person. It's been so much fun working with her. And yeah, so obviously we're gonna be recreating each other's art pieces and this is the art piece that I've chosen to recreate of Al's. I will be painting it in acrylic paint. The art piece is so beautiful. I love the colors in it and I in the back of the head I thought that was like such a cool concept and one thing that I think that me and Al have in common is that we both like to use a lot of bright colors and stuff like that and honestly I am so in love with her art. It's so incredibly beautiful and I also really love her YouTube channel so I'm like really excited to be on her channel right now um <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much all i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of my art piece and i hope that you will enjoy it yeah 
I don't know how to end this. <laughs> okay, so moving over to the process of the art piece. I'm starting out by doing a sketch, as you can tell, and I'm just doing a very simple sketch on some acrylic paper. That is what I usually paint on when I make acrylic paintings, because I don't have any canvases. So yeah, but anyway, the sketching process went pretty well. Um, I didn't really face any problems or anything like that. I'm doing a very simple sketch with a graphite mechanical pen, and the only thing that I changed about, well not the only thing but like one of the main things that I changed about the art piece was that I decided to add some clouds in the background those were not in the original art piece but I decided to add them because I wanted to change something to make it look like more of my art piece if that makes sense and I have been doing clouds in a few of my art pieces so I felt like that was kind of like a relevant thing to add because I've done it before in my art pieces so yeah anyways I really loved painting this it was a lot of fun basically I was just doing a bunch of layering with acrylic paint that's how I work I mean that's pretty much how you work with acrylic paint you just do like literally a million layers of paint I'm not gonna show you guys all the process obviously the rest of it will be on my channel which is called Wilma Art if you want to go watch that it's looking a little bit rough right now it did turn out to look pretty good I mean I'm not sure why I'm talking about that right now because I'm obviously not there yet but if you don't watch my video I just want to let you know that it did turn out pretty good <laughs> that's pretty much all I'm gonna be showing you guys if you would like to see the rest of the process as I said that will be on my channel and yeah I'm gonna let Al continue with her art piece in this video and i hope you enjoyed watching me sketch and paint a little bit of this um that's all for me thank you for listening to me and watching me make art okay that's all bye <laughs> If you haven't seen any of Wilma's stuff, I highly encourage you to check her out on YouTube and Instagram. Seriously, go check her out. So for my own process, I did a sketch and then started laying down marker following my normal marker process of like putting down a base and then gradually working up the values. Once I was happy with the general coloring of the piece, I went in with color pencil and pumped up some values like on the cheeks, added detail to the eyes, texture to the hair. I also did the little sticker stars on her face with colored pencils. I used opalescent or opalescent, don't know, <laughs> paint uh, to do the tears, which I kind of debated leaving out, but I thought that might be changing too much of the tone of the piece, so I decided to keep them in, and then I used uh, gold paint for the butterflies. The butterflies were a pain in my ass because I wanted them to be all dainty and pretty, but my brush just... It just was not working. I think it was a little too thick of a brush, but I kept making my strokes too big. And then they kind of blended into the hair, like the gold didn't stand out enough. So I had to go back and like add shading behind the butterflies to make them stand out more. But then that kind of took away from like the, the graphicness of them. I can't think of a good word for it, but like in Wilma, it's always very separate. Not, I don't even know how to explain it. It, it kind of made it not what I wanted it to be. Overall, I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. Looking back now, after like a few weeks of having this piece like finished and looking at it again, there are definitely some things that I would change. Like I wish I had done a few more twists and like interpreted the piece more. I definitely tend to get lazy creativity wise and lean on references too much. And I wish I had been more bold with my choices. That being said, I do really love Wilma's original piece and I don't think any changes even need to be made because hers is so pretty, so it's kind of just extra stuff that I would- you know what I mean? <laughs> also, looking back, I wish I had kept some of the harsher lines from the preliminary sketches I had done. The final piece looks very soft and round, which is nice in its own way, but I kind of liked the vibe of the sketch more looking back. I also think the sketch had nicer proportions, but oh well, it's too late now, it is what it is. Okay, anyways, that was my process. I literally can't stress enough how fun this was to get to know Wilma and how happy I am that I had this chance to look at her art and her stuff more closely. It definitely made me think about my own art differently. If you're not already subscribed to Wilma or following her on Instagram, you should seriously go do that. Like, go do it. I'm obsessed with her stuff and her videos are like the most relaxing and inspiring things ever. Go watch them. I'm serious. She's amazing. She has her own video up where you can watch her recreate one of my pieces and you should definitely go check it out. Like right now, go do it. Here's a link. It's so easy. Go do it. If you like this video, you should like and subscribe and comment. Maybe if you feel so inclined or not, that's also fine. Uh, if you want to support me, you can check me out on Instagram and commission me there or become a patron or any of that snazzy stuff. Special thanks to my wonderful gay best friends, Arij K, Bickley, President Liv, and Mac Z. 
thank you guys for watching. Um, go do some art. Have a good day. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Take care of yourselves. Bye.